In this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek on how I paint these anemones and jasmine vines. Hi, I'm Marion Dutton. Now, before we jump into this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you've been enjoying the tutorials on this channel. And also, if you hit that bell notification, you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. I really do hope you enjoy this YouTube preview. However, if you'd like to paint with me in real time, then please head on over to my MazArt website where you'll be able to watch the full length real time video and also have downloadable PDF instructions as well as a handy shopping guide so that you can paint along with me. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to cover was um, the actual tracing. We're working on a black canvas and on the back, obviously to get it onto black canvas, we need something light. You can simply take a paper towel and very lightly just lightly dust that away. It won't really matter because the oils will cover that. So I want to get a little bit of light on this tabletop, keeping it nice and subtle. Back. Now, of course, because we've put that light there, this black is going to really stand out. And this is not our final bright, but we want that little uh, lighter area for our shine to live. Soften slightly. I don't want to soften too much around that super shiny area because you will lose that shine. I'm going to use this flip flop stroke, this crisscross stroke, brushing it right inside in between the flowers as well. You want to keep these strokes really loose and onto these main flowers now. Again, we're just blocking in and avoiding that center area. And you want to hit the canvas at 90 degrees now. And this time the center is right here. Wipe out tool to sketch one of the petals. Doesn't matter where I am, I'm flicking towards that center point. And then we'll highlight some of these um, these stems, just pop a little bit of a highlight on there. Now you don't want to highlight everywhere, you do want some of that dark kind of peeking through. Then you draw those out. We have one leaf and we'll pop in a few little veins and details in here. But you really want to be on that 90 degree edge. You want to kind of run with that for a little while, then flatten and then come back up to that chiseled edge. So again, I'm going to sketch in the shape and again, on, always adjusting that color just to keep it nice and interesting. I'm going to have another geranium leaf right here, I think. See, we've got some of that alizarin now being picked up from earlier. Press and wiggle. You notice I picked up a little bit of that red there, which is really pretty. And um, that darkness, if you like, we don't want to lose that dark. We just want to make some suggestions of a few bits and bobs, some, some foliage going on in there. Press and lift off. I really think this splash of red on here really brings this paint into life. Again, overlapping, don't be frightened of going over your greens. I'm going to put the green in, in a little while. We'll put the, and we'll put, bring a couple of these vines just in front here, making sure that each of these has got a stem From the top, we're actually just going to pop a little highlight on the bottom and push upwards. So I'm pressing that brush, pushing and lifting off. So you'll notice that each petal, I'm almost creating three strokes. So from the outer edge, pulling down the center, back to the outer edge, pulling that down. If it's a large petal, it can be four strokes. It really is dependent as long as the You've got that lovely rounding shape. You'll be surprised how the eye just fills in all those details for you. On this one here, again, pushing everything to the back. This smaller leaf right to the back as well. So you get to decide which one lives on top. Now I'm going to do this one first because this one lives underneath this one. So we're going to work on this one first. So it is very important that you come off and leave that tapered edge because now we're able to put another row of petals inside and just kind of neaten everything up and reshape. 
nice strong highlight just to help separate one petal from that background. So here we have, we're seeing the top edges of these petals. So it's just a small stroke, it's still following. Now I'm gonna take this one here and push that right in front. You can always lay, as you get towards the end, you can always lay your brush down and kind of get some of these thicker strokes on there just to brighten up that, you know, those final petals. I wanna make sure that this flower really stands out. So of course we've got that lovely dark from the underpainting, so we don't have to do an awful lot around there. Just get kind of block that in. And you'll also notice as I'm picking up some of that white, I can come in and put a few of these marks inside. And we'll pop on a few brighter highlights with this slightly thicker paint. This video is available on my Mazart website and all the links are in the description below. Each video comes complete with tracings and PDF downloadable instructions and a full shopping list so you can paint along with me. And I'm actually gonna call that a finished painting.